ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther Katende Magezi, and today I have a special guest, my cousin Nelson Kituka. He's a father of teenage girls. You know, he's one of the parents that really inspires me a lot and mentors me a lot in so many of the things that I talk about on this channel on parenting. So today we have the man himself, and he's going to tell us about several aspects on parenting. I have questions for him. People ask me all the time questions on teenagers, how do you manage teenage children? Generally speaking, his children are very well behaved. I mean, on a scale of teenagers, they are actually doing very, very well. Disciplined, obedient, focused, you know, not in a crowded, you know, wrong character or wrong groups. So I think he's doing an exceptional job as a father, as a parent. So welcome, Nelson. Yes, thank you. Um, uh... It's good to be on your channel. I think it's the first time I'll ever be filmed. I am happy to talk about something I think I'm passionate about. My eldest child turned 17 next month. But I know a few things based on my experience thus far. One, if you want your children to behave well, mm. be interested mm. in what they are doing. Correct. So, in my case, mm. I can afford a driver. Mm. I can afford to have my child drop to school and picked up by a driver and we live at home. But I have found that I, by ensuring that my wife drops in the morning and I pick in the afternoon, we have a clear idea of what is happening in our that daughter's is, life. Yes, that's and that is when you have the time to mentor mm. and tell her what to do mm. and listen to them. Mm. Mm. So for me, when I hear that uh, children are having uh, what it call adolescent issues mm. or behavioral issues I don't normally look at the children mm. I normally look at what the parents are doing mm. to uh, guide mm. the child mm. so one thing that is for sure is that if you find that a parent goes to work doesn't know what the children are doing mm. that's when most likely they have a lot of these uh, behavioral issues and another thing about behavioral issues is that if a parent is watching their child mm. day in, day out, they will pick those things. That's true. Mm. But once you see a child who excels in swimming, mm. look on the stand and I can bet my right hand, mm. you'll find their parents sitting there. Mm. Now, children swim or excel for their parents, not for anybody else. That's true. So when because a parent you, says... You see, they're not yet old enough yes. to, to want to excel or to know the importance of Yes. Excelling. So when the parent says, I'm happy, when he sees his parent happy, He'll go back and put in, and put in effort. Yes, yes. If he looks up, he has won a race, mm. and up there the parent is not there, mm. he won't care. Mm. You say that I am not important enough mm. for daddy or mm. mom. Mm. And in my experience, once parents show interest in what children are doing, mm. they perform better. If parents show interest in how children are performing in class, they mm. perform better. Mm. If parents don't look at what children are doing in class, if parents don't look at what children are eating, don't look at what children are watching. The child does what he wants and then the bad influence is coming. That is my experience. I have so, one phrase I use to my children. I will trust you until I don't trust you. So that's the first thing. I will tell you that these are the rules. These are, you will know what the rules are and what the right thing is. Mm -hmm. But I will not keep drumming it down your throat. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, uh, I will give you a phone and I will say you can use that phone until you misuse it and I'll take it away that's true and so for my children at school I give them one rule I don't come to school for behavioral issues mm. and they say that day I come to school on a behavioral issue mm. that's the day you'll see the man in me <laughs> and luckily so far they have, have not given it. me mm. a behavioral issue mm. but also more importantly mm. because I interact with them a lot I spend mm. a lot of time looking into what they're doing mm. How when you, they have issues. How do you interact with them? Because I know one of the things that when you're in the car with them, you're mentoring them, you're basically you're, uh, what people call brainwashing. You know, you're brainwashing them. Uh, okay, brainwashing is simple. Um, we're in the car, we are discussing all sorts of things. We are listening to radio, we are listening to podcasts, we are seeing people drive past us. There are things they show, the, uh, for example, uh, there might be a fight at school and my daughter comes and says there was a fight here. And I tell her, okay, that fight they're going to do, they're going to expel those kids. And she says, I know they're going to expel that kids. And then the next day they expel the kids. Mm. Then she'll know that when my dad tells me something, mm. some more often than Lord. So <laughs> let me listen so. to him. Yes, yes, huh? yes. And then uh, also, I also 
we have a very strong family network. Mm, what do you mean? What family you mean? network means that uh, I don't parent alone. Yes. My brothers parent my kids. I parent their kids. Mm. My grandpa, uh, their, their grandparents parent them. So there's a lot of accountability. And, 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 and then, it, so they, 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 the older children look out for the younger children. Mm. And there are some things as a parent you can't explain to a younger child. Yes. But a younger child can explain to their younger yes. child, to, 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 to their younger sibling or cousin. Mm. So the family network and the family unit mm. as a group, mm. and that's extended family, mm. is what we use to keep mm. our children in line. Mm. Because if they don't see the older children misbehaving, mm. it is highly unlikely the younger ones will misbehave. Mm. And the younger ones take their cue from the older ones. Mm. When the older ones excel, mm. do this, do that, they're like, how have you done that? And mm. then they say, okay, and mm. they listen to them. Mm. So I believe it's basically about interaction, allowing them to socialize, allowing them to, uh, to to experience things as them as children without actually being too protective. Don't watch this, don't do that, don't do that. Let the older ones bring it down to the younger ones and that's, that's our experience and that's how we move. How have you dealt with your daughters on issues of relationships? How, how do you have that talk or have you had that talk or is it mommy who has that talk? I will tell you many fathers, that's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for if you children. have girls, yes. but as far as I'm concerned, mm. um, uh, I try, even without uh, having the talk per se, mm. to exemplify what I want a child to pick up. Absolutely. If I, I am good to their do, mother, monkey, uh, monkey see, monkey do. Yes. If I am good to their mother, I come home on time. I hope my daughter will be looking and saying my father behaved like this. Absolutely. So I'll be looking for a boyfriend who behaves like, like my father. Absolutely. Huh? Absolutely. So uh, as much as possible we have this we have the talk in a uh, roundabout where when people give different by role playing scenarios, what would you have done this? Is this guy a good person? Is this whatever? And then you also show them you the, 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 the thing in this generation is about money. Everybody thinks if you drive a good car, you have money. But in those days when I'm talking to my children, mm. I always try and show them, no, 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 no. Mm. A good car is not a guy who has money. Yes. Look for it's, how the person thinks, how the person treats others, uh, how uh. the person treats people who are in their employ. Yes. You want to look at a good family, look at the parents, mm. look at the, the, their, their house help. How long do their household stay? Plus, yes, hmm? yes. That tells you about behavior. Yes, hmm? yes, yes. So to me, when my daughter comes and says, ah, I want to go out to this guy, I'll be more interested in saying, okay, who are the parents? Mm. And if I know the parents, oh, she, for example, they, are, they, they always these things of, I want to go and have a sleepover. Mm. If I don't know the parents, <laughs> impossible. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. Mm. And if those parents would behave the way I would behave, mm. then it's fine. Mm. Huh? So even if you know the parents, they have Unless to I am sure yes, uh -huh, yes. <laughs> that they will behave yes. the same way we have common values. Yes, yes. And, uh, yes. and, they, uh, and they've come to appreciate that. Yes, huh? yes. Huh? Mm. And so... Oh, I can't really say I've had the talk, mm. not really, mm. uh, but as much as possible I have tried mm. to guide them in by role playing mm. when we have different issues, when there are things that right, oh, uh, we watch a movie mm. or we see a scenario or there's a story mm. and then you give them guidance based on those things and as much as possible mm. exemplify what you're saying. Mm. Mm? I think yeah. that is the most biggest thing. If I tell my children don't drink alcohol. Yes. And I'm not drinking alcohol. Yes. They you understand. have right to speak. I have right true. to speak. But That's they don't take drugs. Yes. Oh, uh, oh then I show that look, you see that person? Mm. That person took drugs. See where they are. Effect, now. Yes. yes. That is how that, that's that, that's how we've done it. But Same for me. Yes. I, I I cannot tell you I've sat down and said, you know, no. they're boys, they're what? Mm. Because in all in all honesty, mm. with the level of technology right now, I know. there's absolutely nothing mm. you're but, telling them. They can find everything they want to find by themselves, yes. yes. But what makes a difference is saying what is good education and good knowledge from what is bad, yeah. bad knowledge. Yeah. And uh, when we were initially moving to a new curriculum, mm. uh, the head teacher at that point in the school we are entering once yes. told us yes. that the problem right now is that after the 90s, mm. the world became... Mm. and info went into the information age. Mm. The information age is that every child is bombarded yes. with knowledge yes. or, or, or data 
Mm. Now, what a good education system will help a child to do mm. is to determine that this is rubbish, Absolutely. this is the real stuff. Absolutely. Huh? So they have to know what, don't, not everything you read mm. is, is, is factual. You have to know that this one is crap, mm. let me not listen to it. Mm. But when this one speaks, it's an authority. Mm. So it helps them determine who are authorities. Mm. And many of those things are about mm. the values you impact in the children mm. and you tell them where to look. Mm. So that when the person comes and starts making arguments, said, have you checked, are you sure, mm. which authority, who said. Mm. And then they begin to understand that not everything you read is accurate, is accurate or factual yes. or whatever, yes. unless it is backed up by an authority. Yes, yes, yeah? yes. And once they understand that, who are the authorities and how to determine the authorities, mm. and also knowing the principles, mm. yeah? because sometimes you might, it might be said it was coming from an authority, but if you know the principles, you know that that can't happen. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And that what, that's, what, that's what helps a child. What is your view on the issue of phones with your children? In my P7, it was a big deal to have a calculator. <laughs> It was a very big deal. Mm. As we grew up, uh, my father was among the first people in our area where we lived to have a phone line coming into his house. Mm. And so we who had a phone then were able to make programs with other people who also had phones. Mm. Uh, we had, were able to interact with people locally and abroad because we had a phone. Correct. Yeah? Correct. So you'd find uh, my brother's friends who were abroad that time in the US, the UK, they would call him mm. because he had a phone. Mm. So to me, this is just the evolution of life. Mm. Uh, it is like saying 20, 30 years ago, don't use a calculator because you have to know two times two, three times two, four times two. What is helping you now? Mm. The question is, mm. have you told them the principles of how to responsibly use the, the gadget? Absolutely. So don't, don't, don't say, I won't give you a phone. Mm. You give them the parameters within which they are used. Mm. Show them that this is abuse of the privilege, mm. and to me, my children know that all the assets they that, that they have mm. are my property, mm. and I give them to them out of my benevolence. Mm. If they abuse them, I take, I take them, them away. back. Absolutely, yeah? and it's as simple as that. Mm. And what have I found? Mm. Because my children have phones, they mm. do research, they know things, they even argue with me sometimes. Mm. They make me look stupid. Yeah? Mm. Yeah? They research on their own. Mm. And all those things, I think, have been a positive thing to them. Mm. There's, no, there's, nothing, there's nothing much I can... Uh, I, I, I can say from the phones, I can only see positive things. Mm. Because, truth be told, in my world, mm. I am beginning to appreciate that people have to be creative. Mm. If mm. I look at the books I've read, when you look at all these guys who ended up changing the world, um, Bill Gates... Bill Gates, as a teenager, he was playing with machines. No person at his age had had the opportunity to, to yes, access. Yes. So when he becomes successful, you look at people like Spielberg, mm. uh, one of the world's greatest directors. Mm. If you re read his bio biographies of people who have written about him, they say at a young age, his father gave him a camera. He was carrying a camera and taking pictures and growing. My point is expose the children so that they mm. appreciate all the different facets mm. you don't know what they will pick mm. Mm. i am not i'm not saying you have to be a director you have to whatever but mm. why hold them back mm. Mm. so mm. to me if the internet is there allow them to get on it mm. if they have to watch news let them watch it mm. when i first when i went for my first job the biggest question they asked was what is the y2k bag and how is it going to affect us? Mm. We hadn't studied that in class, but if you had been watching TV mm. and reading newspapers, you would have an appreciation mm. of the level of the problem and then give an informed idea. Mm. And that is how we got our first jobs. Mm. So for me, I do not have any qualms. Mm. I just say, I trust you until I do not. Mm. I'll give you the phone and I'll allow you to use it until you show me that you're misusing it mm. and then I will take it away. Mm. Um, thank you very much, Nelson. I hope this makes a difference in the lives of our viewers. Um, thank you for watching. Please send any questions that you want Nelson to answer. I will convince him to come back. Although this was his first time, I will beg him to come back. 
to answer any views you want to, to, to him to, to speak about. Meanwhile, he writes a lot on his Facebook page. Please go read his things on parenting. He writes a lot of information there about his life experiences uh, as a businessman, but also as a father of, of two wonderful daughters. I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching.